Hey everyone, before we begin, I would appreciate it a lot if you guys can help to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button as well as to help like the video. It will really help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hello all, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, it will be an interesting one. We will be looking at antivirus software product on a Linux server. Specifically, we will be looking at how good or effective Clam AV is on the latest Ubuntu server. We will be going through quickly the installation and setup of Clam AV, and following which, we will be testing how effective is Clam AV. We will be using the Metasploit and Metaprinter framework, utilizing MSF Venom to generate out of the box payloads that should be heavily signatured and obviously malicious. The third test case and the last test case of the video will also demonstrate how it was possible to bypass and circumvent Clam AV detection with just a little manual work. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is the latest 22.04 Ubuntu server that I have just installed and it is running now. Let's take a look at this search result. This is searching for the top free AV for Linux systems. We can see that more than often, Clam AV has the highest rating and is the recommended choice. Let's install Clam AV on our fresh Ubuntu server and put it to test. We can install Clam AV by using the apt-get command. It will download the necessary packages for us. Let's do that. On the second terminal console, this will be our Kali machine. We will be using Kali to generate the malicious software files to test out Clam AV. The Ubuntu server that has Clam AV has the IP address of .147 and the Kali machine has the IP of .145. The installation of Clam AV seems to be completed. Let's verify that it is running with the ps command. Great, it is indeed running. Let's start testing Clam AV to see how effective it is. For those who are unaware, the Metasploit and the Metaprinter framework is one of the first and oldest framework in the offensive security space. The programs that are generated with the frameworks are already well known and heavily signatured by all AV vendors. This means that Clam AV should have no problems detecting these malicious programs that we are about to throw at it. Let's generate an obviously malicious program with MSF Venom. This will be a Metaprinter reverse shell binary that is in ELF ELF format, which is the executable file type for Linux systems. We have generated the malicious program successfully. Metaprinter underscore rev ref reverse shell underscore 8443.elf Let's transfer the file to the Ubuntu server that has Clam AV running. We can use the command scp secure copy to transfer the file over from the Kali machine to this Ubuntu server. Let's do that. The file transfer via SCP is successful. We can see that we have the malicious program now on our Ubuntu server. It is weird that Clam AV is not triggering anything at all. The file has been written to this on our Ubuntu server and nothing happened. Let's try to execute the malicious program. No detection still. So, Clam AV doesn't do anything to files written to this and upon execution? Interesting. This is interestingly bad. It seems that after reading much on Clam AV online, it appears that by default, it doesn't scan files that are written to this automatically. Maybe this can be triggered via manual methods, such as using a scheduler to scan the entire system periodically. Anyway, let's continue. We can perform the AV scan manually by using the Clam Scan command. The Clam Scan command can take in arguments that specify which files or directories we want to scan. And if we want to remove the malicious programs detected, we can do so as well. Let's try to use Clam AV to scan the Metaprinter reverse shell program that we have generated. The scan has been completed. 
it seems that Clem AB was able to detect the obviously malicious program that was generated out of the box using MSF Venom. Great. Let's try to execute the malicious program again with a proper listener set up on our Kali machine. It is weird that despite Clem AB being able to detect it as a malicious program, it is not stopping the execution of the program and allowed it to fully execute. We were able to establish a metapreter shell session and issue commands on the Ubuntu server. Now, let's try to use the clam scan command again. This time round, let's try to use the dash dash remove flag. It should delete the malicious program upon the completion of the scan. It appears that we forgot to specify the recursive flag. Let's do that again to scan the entire home directory. Okay, great. The malicious program that was detected was removed and deleted by Clam AB. So far, so good. Using the Clam scan command manually to scan, it was able to pick up the MSF Venom payload that was generated out of the box as malicious. Let's move on to the second test case. Let's perform binary padding to add a zero to the end of the program. This will not hinder the functionality of the program, but it will change the hash value of the program. Let's see if this will bypass the clam AB detection. We can use the dd command to do so. First, let's make a copy of the metapreter program and add 0 to the back with the dd command. Let's check out the hash value of the program. It should be different now due to the padding of 0 at the back. Great, we can see that the MD5 sum of the two programs are indeed different. Now, let's transfer the new padded file with SCP onto the Ubuntu server to test it out again. Let's perform a scan using clamp scan manually again to see if it is able to detect the new padded metapreter program. Great, it is still able to pick it up despite being a different hash value. Now, let's take it to another level. Let's use MSF Venom to generate a raw shell code in C format instead. We will then use a C program to execute the shell code. This is known as a shell code loader or a shell code launcher. Basically, it is just a template code to load the shellcode into memory and redirect execution flow to point to the shellcode so that the malicious shellcode will get executed. It seems that MSF Venom doesn't support C format with stageless payloads such as the metapreter underscore reverse underscore HTTPS payload. Let's try and use a staged payload instead. Invalid payload type. It appears that I cannot remember the exact payload name to use. Let's have MSF Venom list out all of the supported payloads for us to see, and we can choose from there. Alright, let's grab for Metapreter payload for x64 Linux systems. This looks good. Let's use this Metapreter staged payload reverse underscore TCP. Let's rerun the MSF Venom command again with the right payload, setting the format to be in C. Awesome, 
it works now. Let's copy the shellcode and create a shellcode launcher for it in C. So what this code does is basically to write the shellcode into memory and of course to adjust the permissions accordingly and finally it will direct execution to point to the shellcode. Let's save the file and compile it using GCC. Let's transfer the file over to our Ubuntu server and scan it again. Alright, so now we have the shellcode launcher program sc underscore runner. Let's scan it using clam scan. Oh my god, this is terrible. Clam AV is not able to pick up the sc runner program as malicious. The sc runner has a default templated metaprinter reverse TCP shellcode in it and it was not able to pick it up. This would never ever work on Windows. Usually, it is required to perform further obfuscation on the shellcode such as performing base64 or compression on the shellcode or even encrypting the shellcode or else it will definitely be detected 100% Let's see if we can execute the SC runner program successfully It is such a surprise that Clam AV was not able to detect it Really bad Let's set up the listener on our Kali to catch the reverse shell this will also show and prove that the SC underscore runner program is really malicious and functional and it will launch a metaprinter reverse shell to us. Alright, let's execute the SC underscore runner file now. As expected, the metaprinter reverse shell worked perfectly. Clam AV was not able to detect it. What a finding. Personally, I was really surprised that the template shellcode generated by MSF Venom was undetected by Clam AV. I was expecting it to be better since it is rated as one of the most recommended AV for Linux systems. Alright, I will be concluding the video now. If you all have enjoyed the content, please help to subscribe to the channel and also to like this video. It will really really help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.